Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to give you two reviews. One movie, one TV show. The TV show is The Boys, Amazon Prime Original. And the movie is going to be Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But before we go on, just remind people, hey, share this, send it to a friend, subscribe, and also let people know that in a couple weeks, on Thursday the 22nd of August, we're going to start our Crazy Hank Lost Rewatch. It's going to be the most... I'm going to say it right now. I'm, I'm just saying it because... I'm the only one saying it, but it's going to be the most ambitious rewatch in the history of rewatching television. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. We'll have more information uh, later on this week, but that's that's what we're putting out there. And also, we're doing Big Brother. So if you like Big Brother, check that out. So also, but let's get to the reviews. Uh, the Boys was recommended to me by several people. It's an Amazon Prime original show, and it's I'm kind of get a little spoiler shared, but not too much. But to to give you the gist of what's going on, I, I think I have to spoil you. Imagine Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash, and several other superheroes being corrupt. That they are just doing it for money. This is basically the premise of The Boys. It's a fantastic show. It's If you like superhero shows, you're going to like it. You're going to probably love it. Um, I think I watched it in, in probably two days, maybe three days. It, it didn't take me very long to get through. It's eight episodes. Uh, it's very dark. It has a very. It has some comedy to it. But even the comedy is, is like, oh my god, they went there. It has a couple of, of what what the heck moment scenes. Um, you, I, there's scenes I didn't see coming and didn't see happening. One is like, I, I, again, I won't spoil you on it, but it's like, I can't believe that just happened. And like the comedy, some of the comedy it has in it. It's not a comedy. It's a, it's a drama. But it does have some comedy to it. It stars Carl, Ur Carl Urban, uh, Elizabeth Shue, Jack Quaid, and Anthony Starr. And I just realized that uh, Jack Quaid is Meg Ryan and, and uh, Dennis Quaid's son. Excellent. He does an excellent... The whole cast is fantastic. Um, it's just... it's. I, I can't say enough good things about it. It's something I strongly suggest you watch. Again, it's not for everybody that has strong language. It does have some nudity and stuff into it, in it but again overall it's not, it doesn't consume it it's not all about nudity not all about uh, language but the, the plot is pretty amazing and it's pretty clever the way they do it and again I'm a, at, at the crazy Hank scale of one crazy Hank being bad four crazy Hanks being good I'm giving it four crazy Hanks strongly recommend you watch the boys on Amazon. Prime. Uh, the second we're doing Quentin Tarantino's movie with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, once a time in a, a, once a time once upon a time in America. Sorry, I'm having trouble spitting that out. Um, I really liked it. My it was my wife's turn to pick the movie. She picked the movie. She liked it but didn't love it, uh, which shocked me because I told her I go it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Do you because she's hit or miss on those. It's the well, same with me. Um, I've been on a roll with Quentin Tarantino movies lately. I really loved a lot of the you know the last three or four he's done, and no difference on this one. I really really enjoyed it. Brad Pitt and Leonardo are amazing in it. The whole again like the last review, this the cast is simply amazing. It does a great job. It's all over the place. It does jump around. It has different stories going on, but all the stories do lead up to one conclusion. I won't spoil you on that. Uh, but it is fascinating. It's it's about the, the 70s, you know, the late 60s, early 70s movies and TVs, uh, you know, production going on back then. But I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a Quentin Tarantino movie, so it's a long movie. Um, if you don't like sitting for a long period of time, you may want to wait till it comes out on TV. You know, you can rent it and stuff like that, so you can take your time with it. But I recommend going to see it. Uh, on my Crazy Hank scale of one being bad, four being good, I'm going to give it Three and a half Crazy Hanks. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was great, but I, not quite enough to give it the four Crazy Hanks. Um, but I, again, it's fascinating. It's it's. But again, it's it's not going to be for everybody because of the subject matter and just different stuff going on. It does have some comedy to it. There are some scenes that are are downright hilarious. Um, and that's all I got. That, that's again, those are my two reviews. Go see both. Well, actually, you don't have to go to see uh, the uh, the boys. The boys is you know if you have Amazon Prime, see it. If you if you want Amazon Prime just to see it, just buy Amazon Prime for a month, watch it, and then cancel it. You can do that if you want. 
And, of course, Once Upon a Time in America is in theaters right now. That's all I got. Remember, the Lost Rewatch is going to be starting August 22nd, the most ambitious rewatch in the history of television rewatch. I'll have more information on that later on this week or early next week. And that's all I got. Subscribe. Tell a friend. I'm out of here. Bye.